So you've been thinking about making the move to Bella Vista, Arkansas. Maybe it's because of the awesome golf courses here. Maybe it's because of all of the mountain biking trails and the walking trails. Maybe it's because of the seven lakes that we have right here in Bella Vista. Whatever the reason is, in today's video, we are going to go through and talk about all of those amazing things. We're also going to talk about some of the not so good things. Today's video, we're going to show you the pros and the cons of living in Bella Vista, Arkansas. So let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris Mutri and I am with the Agent Plus Real Estate Group right here in Northwest Arkansas. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, this is Living in the Ozarks. And on this channel, we go through and show you everything you would ever need to know about moving to and living in the Ozarks, but more specifically, the Northwest Arkansas Metro. So if this is your first time here, be sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell because every single week we drop multiple videos showing you exactly what it's like here. And now with all that being said, as much as we love making these videos showing you this beautiful area, we would love even more to help you accomplish your real estate goals. So be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, or even send us an email if you prefer to contact us that way. Reach out to us however you want. We would absolutely love to help you accomplish your real estate goals and make the move here. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this video where we are going to show you the pros as well as the cons of living in Bella Vista, Arkansas. All right, guys, so if you have seen any of our other videos on the pros and cons in the different cities and areas here in Northwest Arkansas, then you know that I like to start with the bad first and get to the good. So the first thing we're gonna go over is our number, is the first con, which is going to be just commuting and you know navigating the area here. So Bella Vista, if you've never been here, it'll probably surprise you quite a bit. Yes, we are in, you know, around the Ozark Mountains and all the other stuff, but I mean, it is extremely sloped and steep. You can definitely get into some places that are pretty, you know, some some sketchy steep hills and some other stuff so that is something that you want to take account for and think about um, when moving here now when it comes to like public transportation there's not a whole lot yes we have ubers and lifts in this whole metro but I mean you know some of these places in Bella Vista can be in some pretty sketchy places so if you are looking to make the move here then I would definitely say you're gonna need your own vehicle obviously um, but not only that even driving here is no easy task because you can get into some places and it's not like a normal grid pattern system that most cities use. It's, I mean, because they've cut it through all of these mountains and hills, which makes for a beautiful scenery whenever you're driving through it. But it is, I mean, they can be going this way and that way and jot back this way. It can just be really tough. I mean, I've lived here for quite some time now and I even still have to use a GPS to just find, you know, a new street or anything. So it definitely is something to take account for is that the commuting and navigating here can definitely be a con. All right, so enough of the bad, let's go ahead and get to our first pro. So the first pro here is a huge one, and that's going to be the housing prices here. So a lot of people don't actually um, know this, but Bella Vista has a huge, or it's a huge um, decrease compared to the other bigger cities. So the average sell price year to date for 2021 is actually just a little over $150,000. Now, obviously there's a, there's, there is places that cost way more and, and there's even a few that are a little bit less. But that is something that you can definitely get into an affordable house here in a beautiful place too. Um, but it's going to be somewhere 
um, that you know it's it's way different than the rest of the entire metro but when it comes to the pricing here maybe that's because it is a little harder to navigate and people don't want to live on these you know huge huge um, slopes and steep hills and all that but it is something that if you're looking for a um, affordable area this is one of the best places and it's absolutely gorgeous here so Pro number one, it has to be the cost of living when it comes to the housing prices here. All right, so I hate to say it, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to our second con. And this one really isn't so much a con for some people, and some people it's gonna be a huge con for, but it's gonna be the location of the city of Bella Vista. So it's gonna be the farthest north that you can go um, until you hit the Missouri state border. Now for some people, this could be a definite pro if you do stuff in the state of Missouri. For me, for instance, I actually grew up about 45 minutes on the other side in Missouri so I go and see family and visit family and all the other stuff but if you are moving here and you don't and you don't have any reason to really be in Missouri then that could be a bit of a con now it isn't too far from like you know um, Bentonville and Rogers and all the other stuff but if you are heading to say like Fayetteville then that can definitely end up being close to an hour drive depending on the traffic and the time that you actually decide to go so that's just a quick um, con for con number two and like I said it, it could even be a pro for some people but Definitely could be a con for someone who's moving here and doesn't really have any any other reason to go um, to the Missouri area or anything else. So con number two is going to be the location. All right, guys. So pro number two is going to be just the beautiful, um, the beautiful scenes and the area here. So like I was saying before, with all those crazy hills and steep slopes and everything, it makes for a gorgeous area. You have, and, and also just what's kind of in this area and hidden back behind all of these trees and all the other stuff. You know, it's a very, very green area. There's tons of walking trails to where you can go and see it all too. We have got seven lakes, so obviously that's a beautiful scene. But the thing that I love most about the Bella Vista area has to be just the scenery here. It is absolutely gorgeous. They got beautiful golf courses here. Just the whole area is really, it's really something to see. And even if you don't live here, you gotta come through here and just check it out because it really is a beautiful, beautiful area. All right, so con number three has to be the POA here. So if you're not familiar with what POA stands for, that's Property Owners Association. It's almost the same as an HOA, which is the Housing Owners Association, where you will find those in, you know, like a subdivision or a neighborhood where there's, you know, where there's just a lot of stipulations and different things that you can and cannot do. Well, in Bella Vista, anywhere in the city limits of Bella Vista is under a POA. So that's the Property Owners Association. Some people think this is a huge con. I actually think it's kind of a pro in a sense because it is something that keeps the area super nice you know there's seven lakes here so they can you know they you know they use some of that money to take care of all that all the golf course there's just a ton of good things that come out of it but I could definitely see where some people would think that that is a pretty big con if they've had bad experiences with a previous HOA or POA or anything like that um, it can definitely be a huge con. It can be something that scares some people away from the Bella Vista area. So monthly fees aren't that bad though. Um, if you have a single family residence here, it's gonna be about $37 a month for your POA fee. If you have a lot, so some land without a house on it, it's only about 16 or $17 per, per month. So it definitely is an affordable thing, but there definitely is um, some stipulations and some things that you have to abide by. So for that reason, con number three is the POA here in Bella Vista. Finally, we made it. We are at our final pro, which is pro number three, and that's just gonna be the activities that you can do here. So the, the things to do here in Bella Vista. Now, I do wanna preference this first with saying that there's not a lot of restaurants. I mean, there's hardly any for that matter um, or anything like that. So if you're going, you know, if you want to go out, you know, have a night on the town, maybe a date night, you know, or maybe just go to some bars. There's nothing really here in that way here in Bella Vista, but you're only about 10 to 15 minutes to some awesome areas in Rogers and Bentonville and all the other stuff there to where you can go and do all of that there. But when it comes to more, more or less the outdoor activities, this is an amazing place. Like I've said before in this video, they got seven lakes. So if you're anything like me, you enjoy fishing and hunting and all the other stuff, they have some awesome lakes here to where you can go skiing, you can go fishing, um, you know, you can go and rent boats and take advantage of this beautiful area and see everything, you know, if you don't have your own boat. A lot of really cool things. The golf courses here are absolutely amazing. Now, I know that I'm talking a ton about these lakes, but it really is a passion of mine. I really do enjoy it and love it so much. But one of the things that 
they do have here too. Um, I think two of the lakes have it. It may only be one, but they have a, a um, actual beach area. So that's a really cool thing to go and check out, you know, with the family, you know, take a weekend and just enjoy it. Golf courses, tons of walking trails, biking trails. Um, they just have a ton of stuff whenever it comes for an outdoor enthusiast or someone who enjoys getting out and being in the outdoors, um, maybe not even on a regular basis, but just here and there. There's a lot to offer here in Bella Vista when it comes to those types of things and that type of a lifestyle. So after hearing all of the pros as well as the cons, and if you are still thinking about making the move here to Bella Vista or any other area for that matter here in the Northwest Arkansas Metro, as much as we love making these videos showing you what it's like to live and to move here, the whole purpose of that is to show you what it's like here so that you know hopefully we, we can make it a little bit easier. We know how stressful that it can be for moving from a different state um, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. Um, so we would love to help you guys kind of ease that burden and help you make that move. So that number popping up below, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you guys want to reach out, go ahead and reach out and we would absolutely love to help you make the move. And of course, if you have not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell that way we, that we you're notified every time that we drop multiple videos every single week showing you what it's like here. But until the next time, there should be some more videos popping up here now showing you even more of what this beautiful area is like. So until until then, I want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, and we'll see you on the next one.